Hey everybody, uh, welcome to a video on the compressibility of fluids. So we're gonna do a quick little demo on how we can compress uh, gases, and we're gonna use air in this case, and also uh, the difference between compressing a gas and a liquid, and so we're gonna do, uh, use water as well. So simply what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this syringe, and we're gonna fill it with one of the two gases, uh, sorry, one of the two fluids, and we're just gonna push on it, and we're gonna notice the difference in the volume uh, when we do those uh, compressions. And we'll just note the difference between using a gas and when we use a liquid. Okay, so everybody, I've got my syringe here. I've opened the plunger and I've pulled it up. If you can see here, we've got 25 cc's or 25 cubic centimeters, milliliters of gas in this syringe. So I'm simply gonna put my thumb on the end and I'm gonna push the plunger as far as I can. And we're gonna see how many milliliters of change we have here. So here we go. And so as you can see, I can compress that all the way down to 10 milliliters. So our volume, and if I let it go, it's gonna go back to where it was. So our volume started at 25 milliliters, and I can compress that all the way down to, oh, I've gotta push a little harder there, all the way down to 10 milliliters. Again, this is with a gas. Okay, so now I've got my syringe filled with water. Well, it's not actually filled. I've got it to 15 milliliters. I had to get all of the air out of there that I could, so we only had a liquid. And now I'm actually gonna squeeze this as hard as I can. And oh, I'm not super weak, but this isn't moving. I can't compress it hardly at all. I can see that I can maybe compress it about a quarter of a millimeter. So there's really not any compression happening at all. So that would be the difference in the compressibility between a gas and a liquid.